All right, so I'm on my way to Melbourne. Um, yeah, so I leave in a couple of hours on a plane travel documentary begun. This is gonna be a video of me attempting to make a video of me brushing my teeth before I go, um, on the plane. So let's see how well I do at this. Okay, so that's the toothbrush. Special golden toothpaste for extra gold teeth. Um, as in yellow, not like shiny and like, you know, Rapper style. Anyway, um, it's Oh. <clears throat> Aha, yeah, we're done. Ooh. I mean, I haven't brushed my teeth in at least several days. Uh, so, come on, get better lit. Uh, uh, look at that. Uh. And so, yeah, several days worth of gunk on my face. It's important to remember that if you speed up the video so that you sound like a squeaky mouse while brushing your teeth, it's about 150 times more sexy than if that was what you did not do. made some irrelevant video of how much luggage I was allowed to take on the plane, which is seven kilos and it was lame. And anyway, this is footage of me being given a lift to the airport from Olsenville in Ballina by my stepfather and commenting on how lush everything looked after the Christmas rains. Um, up here to the left, you'll see some, you know, Comissonias in flower. Aren't they nice? Yeah. That's the plane I was going to catch, and this is me taking some selfie video of me just being at the airport, and um, this is a lady shutting the door on how lame selfie videos are. That was my shadow, and um, these are the people who went on the plane before me. This is me making sure I've looked at the safety information um, stuff, and there's a child shopping in the background. This is a very short selfie video of me with a child screeching in the background. Um, I repeated it again and again because it was very short. But yeah, that child that screeched was probably the same one that coughed. I've um, turned down the sound because it turns out when you speed up footage of a plane taking off, the noise it makes is much, much worse than the noise that it makes. Um, if you're directly beneath them But surprisingly the noise they make isn't so bad when you're inside them um, This is the noise I made as it banked This is some video of the plane flying over Olsenville the town where I live um, I live specifically where I'm Ken Burns into there um, And then it's pretty lush because we just recently had some rain uh, you know, orchards and stuff, and then I, to the left of you, you can see an, uh, an industrial estate where they're used to be a brothel. In this part of the video, the air hostess tells you that you're, you know, traveling on a certain type of plane and there's toilets and you're not allowed to drink booze that you brought on your, yourself, especially if it's duty free. And, um, but yeah, I, this, I'm pretty sure this is Lismore, which is, is a pretty good spot. It's, um, yeah, get down there watch bands and um gamble and stuff or get a job heaps of industrial estates in there uh yeah this part of the video is um the plane flying over the great dividing range of new south wales somewhere where fires were happening there was lots of fires this summer it was you know yeah, die of fire summer. Here's, you, you can vaguely see a fire in there. Anyway, r most of the rest of the footage sort of looks like this, which is, yeah, pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool looking clouds and stuff. But yeah, it's all very hazy, sort of shit sky. Um, I slowed this bit of video down a bit because that little cloud formation looks like a sphinx.
This bit is kind of like Borderlands, New South Wales, Victoria. There's a fancy lake. It's pretty cool. Yeah, little bits of, you know, shiny dams and stuff in places. Yeah, that's a town. That's me again. For no good reason. Um, you know, attempting to turn off my camera or make it zoom properly. Yeah, that's it. Wanted to get some wings. Smiling. More wing. Get on that wing. Um. Uh. Yeah, like. I showed this to this footage to my, you know, family when I got to Melbourne, and they were like, "This is so boring," and it's, I mean, like it takes it's not long to get to Melbourne from northern New South Wales in a plane, but you know, to watch the whole journey, even when it's in snippets, is too boring unless it's sped up. And you'll probably stop this already by now anyway. So, anyway, this is this is this is more sort of. You know, um, inland Victoria or, you know, southern New South Wales, Borderlands time, uh, paddocks, you know, it's just general ecological destruction as far as the eye can see. I think this is actually, yeah, we're coming into Melbourne now. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it, yeah, uh, it should be, yeah, um, I got not, not much to say probably redo this because I have something somewhere. Um, yep. Slowly, slowly it comes down. Um, yep. That's that's out of reaches of Melbourne, you know. Uh, uh, tips quarries and you know, shitty valleys and stuff and yeah um, coming down coming down harder than having all the drugs left over in the world last night except you know not just that some asshole friend of yours said that was the case that you actually make it relatively smooth landing, you know, because, you know, you're being piloted by someone who's, you know, well trained, you know, like a lieutenant of the Light Horseman Candy Flip Brigade, and like, yeah, ding, and then the wing things, and that's pretty good, yeah. Alright, so, Tullam Arrival, how's that? Yeah. Pretty good, I reckon. And... That's, that's, that's the first part of the thing, I guess. Made it. After making it, um, I got picked up by my father, and in the car, I said this. They say Los Angeles is the city of angels, but if you put an S at the start of Melbourne, it would spell Smelbourne. Big yellow dick and a big red bush. Ooh, check it out, big red bush. Big yellow dick in a big red bush. Rapper style. In this part of the video, my dad's like, Why did they build this bridge like this? And then I said, to which my dad laughed slightly insensitively it's at, it's, it's to help make people tripping on acid while driving crash. <laughs> <laughs> which, as you just heard, I laughed even more insensitively at. And then um, my dad asked me if I got any footage of the fires from the plane on the way down. Yeah, no, I, I, got a, I got a couple of fires. I, yeah, I, not just evidence, but actual burning fires, like maybe 20 minutes into the, the June. In this part, my dad complains about how my half-sister got the window seat, so he didn't get to see any fires. Melbourne, Illinois. What's this bridge called again? The Bolte Bridge. Yeah. Named after Sir Henry Bolte. Oh, yeah? He was a long-term premier. Victoria here, maybe like 20 years or something. He was premier when I was like right through primary school and into high school, even I think. Oh yeah. Um, and it was just like, you know, he was just this old conservative. Did he, did he run quickly or did he invent the bolt? He was this little fat guy.
And then my dad goes on to explain various political scandals, you know, deaths and car accidents that this long-term Victorian premier got himself into back in the day. This is the most iconic section of the Melbourne city skyline, as you can see. Unforgettable. This is 37 seconds of footage of driving in a tunnel under the Yarra River and other parts of Melbourne. Like, yeah. And it goes for like 37 seconds. So, you could probably just edit out most of those seconds, which I will do now. After the best tunnel gag I'll ever come up with. Subterranean. Still subterranean. Still subterranean. Nearly, nearly now. Terranean. That's me with a freeze frame on my smug fuck face that I made because I think I'm clever. So I went to Melbourne on New Year's Eve, and I thought it would be fun to um, send video messages to my friends on Messenger with the 2020 crown on my head, um, saying things like, everyone will have perfect vision in 2020. I would have liked to have included, um, you know, copies of these messages, but for some reason they wouldn't transfer from my phone to my computer, so I couldn't put them in the video. But I've put some pictures of friends that I did send the video to and you can imagine this picture of my friend Steve with his like pretending to have his balls on my head while I'm buried in the sand um was like the 2020 crown um yeah that's why it's taken me so long to upload this vlog because that part of the journey felt very missing but anyway here's some more of the missing journey on the second day I went walking, and because I am from a small town, and Melbourne is very large, I watched my whole walk on the Google Maps, and yeah, this happened. Barely three seconds of Port Phillip Bay, and then I ran out of charge. This is me attempting to record the sound of snarling possums that were all around the holiday house, drunk with my brother-in-law who was scared of the possums because he was attacked by them in a caravan. Um, yeah, so, move over, Mem Fox, with your possum magic. Here's my brother-in-law, Emil, with possum traumatic. Yeah, I'm sitting at, this is the holiday house, and this is the view from the holiday house. So, and I, I've got the, my, my, the day alone because like the whole family's gone to some like the puffing billy which is not as fun as it sounds on the second last night i was there like there was a party like across the hill here's a video of me talking about how i felt about that hear that teenage dirtbag that's gonna shut the fuck up though i didn't really pay for anything besides cigarettes and, you know, anything else. The, the trip was extremely stressful to think about beforehand and afterwards. But ultimately, it was nice to spend time with family. This is a picture of my eyes and my father and my younger brother and my sister's forehead. Um, that's a picture of my older brother and my younger sister's top of her hair. Um... And this is a photo of my mum looking like a crazy woman taking photos of us at the end of the trip. And now I'm home. I've actually been home for like nine months now because it's September. It's nearly New Year's again. 2021! Isn't that a thing? Woo!